Hey, what's up everybody? Lewis here. We've got a really cool project for you today. A uh, customer brought me an Ash Fender guitar body. I uh, wanted to do something cool with it. So we did a uh, uh, kind of a relic look is what they call it. And what you see me doing here is I'm actually ripping out all that softwood with a wire brush, accenting the grain of that ash. Now what we're going to be doing is working with the Renner spray stain system. So I'm really excited to show you that. Now, as you can see, we really highlighted the grain on that ash body. And uh, it's going to look really, really cool with the powder glaze and stuff that we're doing on this guitar. All right. So as you can see, I have my color chart to the right there. And what you do, they have a couple different stain bases. But one's primarily just a universal stain base. And it gives you the different... Uh, uh, it's all in grams, so it'll tell you how many grams of each color to add to that stain base. And the beauty of it is you can just make, you know, an ounce, a couple of ounces if you want to. Um, so really, really easy. It is really easy to apply. I'm using my Apollo Precision 5 uh, with the 7700 series gun. And I'm using actually the 0 0.8 tip with the standard B cap. This uh, this spray stain is really thin in viscosity. So you don't you know you really don't want a lot of material coming out for the look that I'm going for. And um, what you're gonna notice is these spray stains are actually really really transparent. So I really like the way they looked. And now when you see the body you'll notice that I did a little bit of distressing on that body besides just uh, wire brushing it. So uh, doing the back of the guitar now. I've done a wash coat. Now I'm using that black powder glaze that we were talking about. If you're not familiar with powder glaze, um, this is also a Renner product. It's water-based. You spray it on lightly. It dries really, really quick. Um, what I'm doing right here is force drying it so you can see that it's turning uh, colors. It gives it a really, really unique appearance. And we're just going to take like a, um, we call them non-woven pads. And Surf Prep makes the, and what we do is we just kind of lightly remove some of that powder glaze. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a fade around the edges. So, you know, we're going for that rustic relic look. And uh, I'm not terribly concerned about making everything look perfect. In fact, I don't want everything perfect. So uh, just removing that powder glaze now and coming back with the, um, the regular powder glaze color we were using just to darken up those edges. As you can see here, this is what I really like about the Apollo. A lot of people will tell me, oh, the gun spray is real slow or this and that, but that's not the case. Uh, the beauty of the Apollo is that you can slow down to work on different projects like this. If I wanted to flood ma material out of this gun, I absolutely could do that. But that's not what we're going for here. This is a really unique system that you can dial in and use it for several different applications. And with the top coat that we're going to be using here on this project, um, it's actually a 2K polyurethane water-based coating that's really, really high in viscosity. And this gun has absolutely no problems um, spraying that. And that's what I'm actually mixing right here. So that's the isocyanate hardener that we're adding to the coating. Uh, I'm going to get it mixed up really well. Any, any two component products, you know, you want to make sure you um, agitate those materials together really, really well. Um, but it's really high in viscosity and I'm not reducing it. I'm not thinning it out I'm gonna run it through that 7700 series gun and it's gonna lay out beautifully I wish I would have gotten more video of the finished product because this coating really is a true Zero sheen. I think we put it on a sheen meter and it was registering right at one um, So it looks awesome uh, This look might not be for everybody, but it's definitely unique and different which is what we were going for what the customer was wanting and at the end of the day the only opinion that matters is the customers right so um, there you can see it we got a really neat look out of this and that's still wet so it has a sheen to it but I did post a picture at the end of the video so you can get an idea um, you can always follow us on Facebook and Instagram we 
post uh, a lot of pictures of different projects and stuff that doesn't usually make it uh, on YouTube. So if you wanted to follow us there, it's uh, Elite Find Finish. And as always, guys, we appreciate you taking the time to uh, to check out the video. Hope you have a good one. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe.